brought to you by GTA. We start with you. AT&T has the contract to build out a new nationwide broadband network dedicated to public safety. Docomo Pacific was picked to support the deployment of the first net system in Guam and the CNMI. Company president and CEO Roderick Boss says the rollout could come by early next year. So AT&T will guide that, that timeline. We're busy right now, um, you know, um, making sure that our network is, is uh, compatible and that everything is deployed inside our own network to provide the service. Boss says one of the key features of the system will be its reliability, especially during natural disasters such as typhoons that are common to Guam and the CNMI. In a big disaster, there's, there's also a satellite uh, deployable that will be one based here in Guam and one in, in Saipan. And so the, they'll be able to have that satellite connection in case the rest of the network gets, gets uh, knocked down or, or, or is not working. So. Um, it will be, you know, concentrated around the places that they would need, you know, in government agencies, airport, places where uh, you would have a command center and where you need that kind of communication in, in an emergency. The nationwide system for first responders is a long time coming. The First Responder Network Authority has been working since 2012 to come up with the best public-private solution. It really started with uh, after 9-11. In, in, uh, in the U.S. and they were, uh, the, the first responders couldn't really talk to each other, fire and police and homeland and everyone couldn't really talk to each other. So they decided they really needed a, a, a standard platform for everybody to be able to communicate with each other. AT&T was awarded the 25-year contract and the company says it will invest about $40 billion to build, operate, deploy and maintain the network. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconto. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.